Hey everybody, so let your light shine. I got Epix Hero C, Pig Productions, Bopcha, and we're here at the Orange Circle again, and this time we're gonna try out Watson's for lunch. All right, so there's public parking everywhere here at the Orange Circle. So we're going through the alley, and there's the circle. And then to our right will be Watson's. Okay, how are you doing? Awesome. All right, here we go, Watson's. And actually, this is not the first location. They were actually on, we're on Chapman Avenue. They were actually originally on Glacelle. So I'm gonna see if somebody knows if there's a picture of where it used to be. All right, so we say to enter this way through Rockwell's. Let's go. I don't know. They look like gumballs. Ooh, they're like iridescent looking gumballs. Yum. Wow, it's neat looking in here. Look at all the cool stuff. Oh, wow. Wouldn't you like a wall full of that? I would. Oh, yeah. Very cute in here. All right, well, let's check out what they have here. I think it's an American fair. So they have, you know, like typical stuff. Hamburgers. They have a pretty good selection of stuff, actually. It used to be a pharmacy, so I'm going to read more about it to you. in a bit. All right, so to give you a little history, it says, let me start from over here though. There's people dressed in a little dapper there. Maybe it shows some old pictures of the place. But it says, Watson Drug and Soda Fountain, a product of the golden age of American history, somewhere in time when Main Street, USA, was the center of life for every American city. This was the era of the gay 90s. And apparently the gay 90s is 1890. This is a restroom area. This is cute. Ooh, is there something beyond this area? Oh, probably not for me to be in. There's some old pictures. The horseless carriage had just been introduced. Gold was discovered in the Klondike. Rule free postal delivery had been established. Drives in a Surrey were still a way of courting. I don't know what that means. Just go with it. I'm reading. Dr. John T. Dorrance developed Campbell's Condensed Soups, which sold for 10 cents. John Kellogg, a physician at the Battle Creek Sanitarium, and his brother, Will Keith Kellogg, developed wheat flakes called Bransosa in 1894 in an attempt to create a more digestible bread. That's very interesting. I didn't know about that. The cereal, a vegetarian diet, and water treatments were such a success that people came to the sanitarium from all over. In 1895... Charles W. Post is one of the patients. He took some of Kellogg's ideas and developed Postum, a malt beverage, and grape nuts. Which grape nuts are still around. Here we are, right by the uh, window here. The foundation for a drugstore and soda fountain emerged. Drugs were freely available and abuse was common. Get this, this heroin was sold as cough medicine. The American drugstore began with the introduction of scientific fact into pharmacy and medicine. So here's all the all the drugs. Wow, interesting. Watson's drug store in 1899. 
Watson Drug opened as K.E. Watson's. It was first on Glissell Street, and I've asked two people now that work here, and they don't know where on Glissell Street was located, but I'm sure it was close to this. Now to its present location on Chapman Avenue in Orange. It was around this time in many parts of the United States, laws were passed that prohibited the selling of soda water on Sunday. So it says here, an alternative on Sundays, local soda fountains began selling ice cream sodas minus the soda, which left only the ice cream and syrup. And that became the recipe of what we know today as the ice cream sundae. How are you? Okay, so that's pretty cool about the ice cream sundae. I was just talking to the general manager about it. He also didn't know where the original location off was sell, so that's still going to be um, something I need to research. But it says... Uh, in 1915, Watson's opened a soda fountain, complete with ice cream soda, sundaes, and phosphates. In the ensuing years, American-style comfort foods have been added to the menu and has remained the mainstay of Watson's restaurant, which is what we're doing, is having food here. In 1965, Keller Watson Jr. retired from Watson's, and in 1971, an ambitious young pharmacist named Scott Parker took over the business. In his mild, soft-spoken manner, Scott has given his customers and patients a comfortable breath of nostalgia with his individualized service, making sure everyone is taken care of the best of his abilities. Offering consultations and advice on prescriptions and always striving to offer medications for the best possible price. The funny thing is, the general manager just said that people still, probably older people, still come over and like they're like, can I get my prescription too? And he's like, no, we don't do that here anymore. <laughs> All right, guys, so I got the El Diablo, and it's got like fried jalapenos, it's a hamburger. I think it's pepper jack cheese, and then a salad. And then Lauren, what'd you get? Chicken little. So like a chicken sandwich with french fries, and what's that? Onion rings. Ooh, wow. And pickled eggs, but I will take those. Mac and cheese. Okay. I got mac and cheese, cookies, and tater tots. And then, Franny, Bob's got like a turkey club sandwich and soup. That looks good. All right, we're gonna test this out. And we're gonna do our ratings afterward. All right, quick update. And I also added some Italian dressing, blue cheese on my salad. Had a bite of this. Super mm. spicy and super delish. She's almost done with her mac and cheese. And you said something positive. You the said something was real. Oh, the fries are good. All right, so we're going to do our ratings afterward. Bob just eating away. And uh, I don't know what our ratings are so far, so we'll have to pick those. There's been a few movies filmed in Watson's, and this is one of them. So I'll try to find some pictures to show you right now. Some more decorations on the top here. Looks like an old carousel horse. Okay, so other than uh, the movie I just mentioned, the, that thing you do, there's also been bench warmers. So it's also inside and outside of this place have been used. Okay, um, there's a long history of movies such as. Barbara Eden filmed The Stepford Children and Burt Reynolds' Gumball Rally. Producers of television commercials have also used the natural ambiance inside Watson's to film spots starring, among others, Don Knotts, Shelley Hack, and Jimmy Smith. And even President George Bush stopped by for one of our famous malts. He probably sat probably somewhere around here. All right, guys, so we finally finished our lunch and we're doing our ratings yeah, now. Um, choosing fried jalapenos. Okay, how and I don't know what my rating is yet. So, what did you choose, Bobta? You had a turkey club, what'd you like? And that soup. Soup. <laughs> so, what was your rating? If you want to do stars or. So, what's your rating from one to five? Uh, four. All right, four something. We don't know what My this is. rating is unicorn. Turkey sandwich is five. All right, so how many unicorns? Um, 
for the mac and cheese. I was here five. Actually, I'm gonna. Oh, you're individualizing every one of them. Yeah. Okay. All right. But the only it. problem I don't like about the mac and cheese is that you don't get that much of it. Oh. So, oh yeah. That, that you could have had more. So that's how good it was. Yeah. So I'll change that to a. Only because it wasn't four, enough, but the taste. Four, was good. And right. the, uh, I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, oh, pineapple. Tater, oh, the tater yeah, tots, but they're they're good if you like them. But I'm not a huge fan of tater tots, so I'll give them a four. And for the fruit, I'm not a huge fan of those type of fruit. So if you're picky about fruit, just ask them what fruit. Well, yeah, we should have, I guess, because it was yeah. cantaloupe, grapes, and pineapple. And to me, I like that. So for me, I like grapes, just fine. but it, it was, you it wanted was, watermelon. Yeah. All right, Lauren, your turn. <laughs> Doodle boys. All right, so my fried jalapenos. Um, if I'm gonna individualize them, I tried Lauren's French fries and onion rings, and I thought those were fives because those were delicious, especially the onion rings. Those were really good. And my hamburger, I would say, is a four. It was good, um, but I don't know. I think that um, maybe the bun could have been toasted more. I guess I don't know. It was good though. Service was awesome. So service was definitely five star. Five mm. gumballs. Oh, All right, yeah, guys. The gumballs over yes, there. that's why I wanted to choose. All righty then, we're back, and uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Once again, if you're at the Orange Circle, check out Watts, 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 Watts Soda Fountain Cafe. They have lots of A lot candy. of history here. They got candy. Yeah, actually, oh, yeah. what's kind of cool is you can have an ice cream cone to go because it's just right there. The oh, Rockwells. and also, there's like this thing where it's like a shake of the month. And oh, yeah. If, well, you're, if you guys come here right now, at this very moment, oh, yeah, right, now, right now, right now. And you guys can get the birthday cake batter milkshake, and it looks really good. Well, who really knows? October good. might be cool too. So, all right, guys. Thank, thank you, you guys. Really like it. All right, bye.